Peer pressure. Funny isn't it, that one of the main insults we use against other men, or that men use against men in general, is to say, you're not getting any, you can't get any, you can't get as much as me, your woman's not as fine as mine, you can't get women that look as good as mine, my side chick looks better than your main chick, I get bees all day long, many bees are scorpions in disguise. But peer pressure, how men hustle other men to pursue and get more women because, you know, as a man, it's a manly thing to be bedding loads of women, isn't it? That's what it means to be a man. So you have a guy here that's bedded a hundred women and a guy here that's bedded none. The guy that's bedded a hundred women, he's more of a man than the guy that's bedded none. That's bogus. That is stupid. That is ridiculous. Peer pressure itself causes men to think and believe that this is actually a normal thing. No, it is not. How much of a player was Nikola Tesla? Yet how many men walking around nowadays could claim they have a brain anywhere near his? Or what, you can bet a hundred women, who cares? Could you create anything to change the world? Could you advance the entire human race with your thoughts? This glorification of acting like it's such a difficult thing because we are putting the price on what it is? That peer pressure has caused men to do many stupid things just to get respect and to fit in to a damn group. What group? A group of overthirsty pee beggars? Chasers? Please, please? Constantly DMing? I've got to get some, I've got to get some. Why? Why? I often wonder why most of us do not stop to think about certain things. I don't understand why desire should just be so blind. For me that doesn't make sense. Many men that need to feel who they are with women are men that lack self-esteem within themselves. Like I've said before, they can't be as great and as manly as they are unless they're sleeping with like five women at once. Because they're not a man unless they're doing so. That is bull. Also again, understand why it is bull? This is something that women will use as well as an insult to you. Oh, you're not getting any. Think of the peer pressure women themselves will put on us as men. To make sure we keep pursuing them. I often wonder, does no one stop to think about that as well? They're peer pressuring you into chasing them more? You're not getting enough of us? Therefore you're not a real man? Does no one stop to think how stupid that is? Peer pressure is part of the reason why I keep very few friends in general. Because the older I got, I started to realize that my drive and my focus is different from many, many other men. If this is who they are and what they want to be, fine. It is their choice. I want more for myself and from life. For me, more from life was never more women. That didn't make sense to me, I'm like, it, it's just more women, it's more of the same thing. For me, more of life was exploring more of the world, learning more about who I am, learning more about people, understanding people, understanding the world, science, geology, history, physics. I often wondered, you damn beasteds, never pressured me into seeking deeper things. The deepest things you pressured me into seeking was how deep between a woman's legs can go. That was it. Tis only so far it can go. But I will leave it there, I will not make a joke I was about to make. But seriously. Many of the men I grew up with that peer pressured me damn near to death. I see them occasionally. I saw one recently. He was one of these guys who was always pressuring you to bed as many women as possible because this is what he was doing and whatever. I saw him recently, now married, now overweight, four kids, looks depressed. I'm thinking to myself, damn bro, we're the same age, what the hell happened to you? What happened to you? For someone who had so much confidence in this is how you be a man, why do you now look distressed and broken? What happened to the grand chase? How did you end up getting married? 
Strange, isn't it? How men would tell you, bro, look, I have my fingers, lips, and shaft wet constantly. I keep them wet because I keep women in my bed constantly. Okay. This is why many times in my life I've been like, bro, look, I'm gonna kick you off this pier. Thus, you can continue to drown in that wetness. So feel free to do so, it is your choice. The one thing you will not do is pressure me to be like you. We are not the same, we are different. Maybe instead of letting others pressure you, pressure yourself to become better and to find who you really are. And when you do so, appreciate the hell out of that bastard. And remind him every day, because it is yourself you are reminding every day, to never forget. The world is yours. Have a nice day. Hello. So I'm currently recording some more videos or editing some more videos, but there are some next to my head right here for you to watch in the meantime.